Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Things Involving Me, January 3rd, 2024. Weird-ass dream edition. So, I am not a stranger to night terrors, crazy vivid nightmares, reoccurring dreams, and all that terrifying, uncontrollable bullshit. Nope. Not a stranger to it at all. Um, up until about a year ago, um, I was having recurring nightmares about post-apocalyptic San Diego, post-apocalyptic San Diego airports. <laughs> like every night, terrifying, forgetting my cats and having to walk through desolate shit. Oh my god. Anyway, so haven't had one in a really long time and that's that's really fabulous i gotta say um but last night the night before this one i had a really really incredibly fucked up nightmare that um i actually yelled in my sleep and woke myself up <laughs> i was for some ungodly reason, I was at my mother's cleaning her house out, like, you know, to get it ready for sale or what have you, and uh, just packing stuff up. And I don't know why I was the one doing it, because I would not be the one doing it. She would have, like, stipulated one of my cousins or one of her siblings to, to handle that shit, not me. But um, there I was in the dream. And as I was packing stuff, I look out what used to be my bedroom window toward this um, like nice brick shed thing that my stepfather built for his boat. And there's two people out there pouring gasoline and, and getting ready to set shit on fire. And I run out there and try to stop them, and they they throw the match and drive off, and I couldn't get the license plate. I, like, physically grabbed onto the license plate. <laughs> like, I, at first I tried with my phone, and the phone wouldn't, like, I couldn't get my camera to work. So I physically grab onto the license plate, and they drive away. And that failed, and I try to call 911, but I get a recording that says that I have to hang, like, hang up and then go to emergency.org, create an account, and then report my problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, and the, the flames are spreading like crazy. They've caught onto, like, the wood chips in the backyard. And they're, they're already at the house and the porch is on fire in the back. And, and then I, I wake up because my husband's screaming from the outside, why don't you call 911 <laughs> in the dream? And I, I wake up screaming because it's all fucking automated now. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I had to sit bolt upright in bed, scare all the fucking cats and then come out to the living room, and it was only fucking midnight. <laughs> um, I don't know what the 911 thing was about. I just, I don't like technology anymore, I guess. And, um, did the whole, the whole, you know, cleaning my mom's house business. And just, you know, for the last 24 hours since the dream, I've been kind of zen with the idea of like okay this is this is the year I'm letting it all go this is the year that that it's done I'm not going to fester in it anymore I'm not going to think about her anymore I'm not going to give her any more fucking power I'm just going to clean my house and be done with it yep and that, that's the way I interpret that dream, anyway. It was fucking weird. 
And oh my God, what a horrible dystopian future that would be. Your your house is on fire, but you've got to go to emergency.org, type it all the way the fuck out in your phone, and then make an account and put your social security number in and all that shit and your address and type it out by hand. And then... <laughs> And your house is on fire. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that's my video. That was my fucked up dream. I'll talk to you guys later.